So if you guys come into the kitchen, I'll show you how we're going to prepare some food. Uh, right, before we enter the kitchen, we need to put on clean clothing. Uh, I'm wearing chef's clothing, but you need to change your clothing, whatever, before you enter the kitchen. You also need to put on an apron. This provides a barrier between yourself and the food, to protect you and the food. I need to take to get my hair and um, I'm just going to wear a hairnet, completely covers all my hair right up to the back and I wear a hat as well. At the minimum you should have a net on, we also wear hats. Uh, men with beards should also wear one over the beard to prevent anything falling into the food. So I'm now ready to enter the kitchen. So we have a separate sink here for washing hands and there should be a, a nail brush. Washing your hands, it, it, it's a little bit of a complicated process, but you get used to doing it. The more you work in the kitchen, you get used to doing it. So we've got a paper towel here. So I start the tap running. I then get my sanitizer. We've got a portable one here for moving around the building. Or I've got a sanitizer here. So to start washing, I rub the palms of my hands together. Then I rub one hand over the back of the other hand. I then rub the fingers into the palm of my hand. I then interlock my fingers and also between the thumb and the first finger there. Rinse my hands, check my nails. Rinse off my hands, leave the tap water running. Dry my hands. And try not to touch the bin. I'm going to turn out my foot. Make sure my hands are dry. And then I turn the tap off with the tap the towel so I've not been in any contact. So now my hands are dry and ready to start work. detached and they fall into the food you can then see it. Stored up here on the top shelf and um, so that's your cheese, um, uh, butter, cream, some cottage cheese here. Stored at at least uh, below, sorry, below 40 degrees, 40 degrees or below and that's all kept there. Uh, again the dates 